Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we made it on a wing and a prayer. The whole caravan, and we are here in the shadows of the sleeping ute. And we are at, where are we at? On the ledge. Painted Hand Pueblo. And we can see some ruins from right here. No. Oh God! Look at that. So we're about to head out, head on down into that region with our crew. Whew, look at that valley. That's nice. Big Red had no problem getting out here. That's Dell. Sandy, Gunner. So, come on. There he is. And Mama, we're about to go down to the Painted Hand Pueblo Canyon of the Ancients. And there is no way any person would know how to get here. Nice slot. <laughs> Little technical <laughs> class four slot, and you come down here to the circular ruin. We are here. And this is the interesting chinking. We're just here to really see how similar the architecture is to from this site to tomorrow's site. And really nice masonry, big blocks, square, with the Anasazi, quote unquote, made up word, name, chinking. Chacoan style. Oh, they got that blocked off. Window, which is fantastic, with the lentil. Why the walls are so thick. Yeah. And then we've got these little porticos inside. Fantastic. Well, give you some perspective and you can see there's more ruins so we're going to take a walk over there. Say hi Kale. Hi. And there yes. So we've got some heavy weathering and some ruins here but this is the first petroglyph is an anthromorph plasma discharge and it's packed quite deep with fingers. Take a look at that. And then more of that Chacoan chinking. Referred to as Anasazi. Any glyphs? Is this a tunnel? Once again, if you're just joining us, this is Painted Hand Pueblo. Not an easy spot to get to. We just saw a Parat Instability petroglyph, the only petroglyph that's really discernible in this rock fall. This is fresh. So, 
Petroglyphs would be on the front of that. That's fresh. So the sleeping ute is in the distance, at a weird angle here. It's supposed to represent a sleeping uh, Native American, a ute, that will one day awaken. And we are at the Painted Hand Pueblo. Clearly a lookout. It goes way out. 60 miles or more, you can see way out to the south. And we're going to come down here and look at some more ruins that I saw, see down here below. So, uh, walk with us. If you ever want to do this, you can get uh, pro shoes. They're like climbing shoes. And they work excellent. So, on a tip from Alan, we're down here to find the painted hands. He always finds the good stuff. Oh, there they are. Let's get in there for a close up. He's almost doing a Spock, like Nanny Nanu with a piece. Now we have this darker image. Now these are pictographs produced using a pigment, different than a petroglyph. Definitely. Can you mimic that hand for the camera? Yes, that's what I'm seeing over there. Yeah, almost like you turn on the starship. And this one is... Uh, or this one's like that, kind of. Yeah. Right? Or I guess that would be like over here with the left hand. And there's two color pigments. There's a black and a gray on the top one. You can definitely see two color pigments. Yeah. And then on the lower, it's just more just straight gray. Yeah, back then it was fantastic. Okay, we got some more here in the distance. So let's get over there. Check them out. We've seen this before, and this is clearly where another structure was. And those main floor beams that come out of the cliff. And this was where uh, we see this with the Tewa down in New Mexico. Some storage bins in there. Looks like there could be some pictographs here. Even a hand, perhaps. Right there. And maybe even up here, some, some sort of a banner or calendar. like a stain but it's fantastic Could be a bunch of hands there painted hands that's where we're at painted hand pueblo take a look at some of that work there Fantastic, there were just birds singing. <sighs> I 
and we're gonna go up and check that out maybe there's some glyphs in the back wall of that yeah definitely that's a home there but here we can see what's barely left of a ruin on top of this rock Oh, and another really large wall there. Another member of our team scouring the top for clues. We'll go check that out in a second, too. It's a big Pueblo here. Extremely fortified with uh, really good Really good defenses. I mean, they, you could see for miles here. So, and you could see another pile of rocks down there. That's part of a structure. A lot of this has collapsed. Fantastic. What a day to be out here. Tomorrow is going to be even more stellar with the moon house run. Nice, we just got another squatter man and the second yeah. most pronounced in a quarter mile here walking. And it's in the same orientation, pointing the same direction, directly towards the sleeping ute. Fantastic. This one doesn't have the weird frog fingers. I hope we're getting that. This one's more like Nefertiti or something. Like, is that going up and over there? Fantastic. And this is right next to a well built chinked wall, which is part of a cliff dwelling awesome. here at Painted Hand Pueblo. Hey kid, I'll make you famous. The view is insane right there of you sitting there. Sleeping you in the background. Terrible lighting. But a nice, really safe stronghold. This is a megalith in front of it. Probably weighs 30 tons. And that would be a you would feel safe in there, in that little bungalow. That's for sure. Maybe there's a petroglyph up in here. But the lighting is not the best here. I can't even see if I'm showing it to you. It's a little secret cubby. That's doing a little better. Yeah. Trying to figure out if this is a cocapelli. And this is happens to be directly below that last. Oh, there's a squatter bag. Oh, I didn't. 
Yeah. Up top? Yeah, I didn't see that. Okay, we got a third one. Yeah. Third parat. We're headed to it. Yeah, yeah, I see that. What a fantastic day. First day on the drive out. Some petroglyphs, some ruins. Some architectural pockets. Lots of thorn bushes. Thanks for coming. Uh, here? <laughs> no. Did not know it even existed. So, it's been a great day. This is just a wall down in front of the cliff dwellings, maybe a thousand feet in front at the very edge of the, in the lower valley. So this is a huge complex where, I mean, we have security. And so if that's the other side, this is a huge structure here. Like the main powwow room. If it went all the way to this tree over here, where these are, yep. that's a big, a big structure. And this, these actually probably continued all the way through here, utilizing this massive thermal mass of that. We found some black pottery here, but not a lot of culturals lying on the ground. Here's one right here. Down. A little storage. Straight across over there. Oh yeah, high up. Mm -hmm. There is a cliff dwelling over there. Right in there. Like swimwear. You wonder if he was like exiled from the community? Go live it over there! Get out! Go move across the valley! Or maybe he was the shaman. Yeah. Hello. He had the good stuff. This was the hot tub down here when it rained. <laughs> the washing area. They probably dammed that up. I haven't seen any matates. Which is a bizarre. I guess they didn't grind grain here. But we just haven't seen any evidence. We need scale. Boom. That wasn't on camera, so. Good. Your wife will never know. I heard, oh my gosh. <laughs> we're inside the cliff dwelling we're headed to, and we're now placing bets if it's a hippie hideaway or native. So place your bets now. Pretty crazy. Underneath of this rock here, what's going on? This isn't growing anywhere else except here under the rock. So, a little help. Someone send that to the Googler. What is that? It's super... It's probably super toxic. <laughs> All right, we're headed to the cliff dwelling. Got another wildflower here in the desert. 
to share with you. And a crying child in the distance. <laughs> he's playing like he's crying. It's lunchtime. Yeah. Ship Rock. Dell, yeah. you're making me nervous. Yeah, there's something going on down here, down there. Hippies. This was hippies. Hello. What is it down there? What is, what is the top of this? Is it just...